Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you Monk Monday. I don't even know what number because it's been a while. Uh, but for those of you who don't know what that is, every Monday I critique gameplay that gets sent to this email right here. And it could be any gameplay that you have. Twos, threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus, rating. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what MMR. It doesn't matter what Keystone level. It doesn't matter what difficulty. It does not matter. As long as you have Mistweaver gameplay or even Windwalker gameplay, send it in. Uh, we're happy to critique it. Your teammates, cooldowns, your cooldowns, mana, anything, anything. I try my best to just critique as much as I can. So today we have, what do we have today? Tendies. And I say I have uh, mixed some mistakes. Uh, I'm going to get training on hockey on second uh, video and not choosing, uh, oh, not moving transcends to a spot. One main reason why I think we're losing is I keep getting CC and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, do I need to hide or what? I have i can help you with that i got you don't you worry about it thanks for the help it is absolutely my pleasure so i think it looks like the rogue also this is the first time using like squad ov it's kind of cool all right we got some ret warrior versus um rogue warrior priest so odds are that you should probably be playing eminence uh disarm and then the third one can be kind of on you if it's it's an assassination rogue usually peace weaver is pretty good for vendetta um, or you could play Chrysalis. Either one of those is fine, and you should be good. So. Uh, the kill target will probably be the Rogue, I would say, because they're the squishiest one. But you could you could go Warriors, too. Um, looks like Stormbolt on one of your teammates. Kyrian Spear as well. So Kyrian Spear... Is a 45 second cooldown so normally what i try to do is i try to line up cooldowns with the 45 second cooldown ring of peace for example uh lines up with spear and i know you're playing with two melee but during spear you're just really trying to live so i would say use rop to maybe bait out the blade storm from the warrior and then disarm the warrior i can see there's disarm on the rogue right now so that's pretty good but we're just healing through it, which is nice. You got Renewing Mist, Renewing Mist, Renewing Mist, which is even better. Bone Dust Brew is also really solid, too. So I think right now we're doing pretty good of of just healing. Essence Font is okay, just because it's, you know... Uh, right here, you maybe call it a bop from your Rep Alley so you don't have to trinket. Or bop on your Warrior, just because they only have one purge from the Priest, and maybe he's not going to purge. But I would say you either want a bop from your Pally or... Or you could trinket too, but normally I don't like to trinket mostly because they can kill you. But it looks like we did trinket life cocoon. It was smoke bomb, so really good life cocoon there. Uh, crackle to get the mystic touch up. Really, really good job there. Um, overall, keeping your war alive, which is nice. We want to get some CC on the priest though, kind of soonish. Um, any any CC? Give me an in cap. Yeah, it's vendetta. Nice leg sweep. Careful, careful of using your leg sweep first because right here, if the priest was wasn't on global and was fast enough uh they could they could get a free fear on you so just be careful of rolling to a priest as opposed to getting in cap and then leg sweep but really good leg sweep here and then yep yeah, see there's a trinket fear yep yeah, yep yeah, that's versus priests you want to make sure even though it's half because you were blinded you really 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 want to make sure uh, versus priests i very rarely even leg sweep priests when i queue into them because they this priest don't have a lot of mobility. They, they they really don't. They have, if they're vent theory, they have door shadows. If they're night fade, they have the soul shape, and that's all the that's that's all the mobility that they have. So if you never get close to them, they can't fear you if they're disc, um, which is why I never really push in on them because then they you just give it to them for free. Normally I'm just going for an in cap, and then I'll just go in the opposite direction. Especially since you guys are fairly far ahead, I feel like because the warrior almost died. Um, I'm surprised your warrior didn't have more cooldowns, but your rep pally could have bopped. I feel your rep pally could have, unless unless I don't see the debuff here. Rep pally definitely could have buffed, could have bopped. But from your point of view, uh, good leg sweep, good job getting CC. But it's just yeah, at the wrong time. Like the rogue uses vendetta. You see, like the rogue. I think before we even pushed in, uh, we're like halfway committed right now. The rogue used vendetta, so obviously the rogue's doing damage. That's this is a time where you really don't want to get crowd controlled. Um, we have fleshcraft, we have revival, so like we have cooldowns, but yeah, we don't have trinket because we trinketed the blind. Um, I think we overlapped Hodge actually with that, which kind of sucks too. So 
Just try not to push in on a priest. Go for the in caps. Don't push in. If anything, leg sweep the DPS, in cap the priest. Beautiful setup. Does not make you any like scared to get CC for free from the priest. But yeah, this is tough. They do a lot of damage. Um, these are still loading. I don't know why. Um, uh. So we have Ret Warrior versus Ret Warrior. Okay, this is, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, um, we don't have a port down. And you're Panda. So, yeah. That suck. Okay. Yeah. The, the, yeah. I, I know this is what you're talking about. Obviously, yeah. Not having a port down is what cost you this game, right? Because, I mean, maybe you still win. But, obviously, you know, if you have a port down, you don't get... You don't have to use anything besides port in this opener, right? It's big wings. Um, and then you don't have to use your life cocoon or trinket. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. That's the... You know, <laughs> you make one mistake when you're playing Mistweaver, you know what I mean? So it is what it is, but now we def we're definitely not going to forget it for sure. Especially, versus it's unfortunate that you forgot it versus Rent Warrior. Uh, kick on your on your Fleshcraft there. Revival is good. Bop is good too. Seraphim, you're going to take some damage here. It's mostly magic, so nice fear from your Warrior. Actually, you got Spiraling Totem there too. So, port is perfect to you. You actually got the bonus. Oh, no, you didn't. That's weird. No, you did. Yeah, you got the bonus brew uh, proc there, which is really good. Um, overall, healing-wise, Essence Fawn, keep yourself alive is good. Make sure you try to get a Renewing Mist out uh, for the instant you know, heal. I don't know if we have a charge of it right now. We do. Uh, and then use Expel Horn, maybe. Oh, the Dwayne stun. You can't, I hate Dwayne so much. Yeah, honestly, this game really just comes down to you not having port to start. I mean, it sucks. I mean, uh, trust me. I, it... <laughs> been there uh still been there um you make one mistake and it's over that's pretty much it overall though really good peels from your dps though like really good peels from your dps really good job keeping yourself alive um good use of essence font when there were like three kicks available so i mean i'm not even mad like you did really good job staying alive let's see we got hero cleave which is demon hunter dh priest Versus Ret Warrior. So kill target most of the time. You could run up the Death Knight with this comp just because, well, you have magic damage from the. Mm, you have damage. I would say maybe Demon Hunter just so he doesn't. Can't, he can't reverse when you Hodge. They might get cleaved down hella hard though. There's a grip on you. Essence Font as well. You're going to take some damage here because you're going to get Silence off. Probably a Fort Brew. That's also mind games on you. Bop on you is good. Nice. Really, really good peels here. Uh, one thing is, again, we, we actually don't have port down this game either. So what you can do at the start here is get a port down. And it doesn't matter where the port is. Like, I usually put it here or over here. It doesn't matter. Pick one. And then port midair when he grips you. That's 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 the Like, instead of essence font on this global, port. Like, get out of there. That way they can't... They don't have... Like, the option to go you isn't even there. So, keep that in mind. But really good peels on this. Um, good spear from us, which is really, really good. Great bops. Rally as well from your warrior. But this is our go. So, we kind of also at the same time want to get an in-cap on this priest, I would say. Yeah, I try to get an in-cap on the priest um, ASAP. Ooh, this is actually a really bad banish from the demon hunter. Yeah. Because I think they want to go you. Oh, and your red died. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you want to get out of there ASAP. Like, as, as as soon as you can, get out of here, the better. And then, are we playing Zen Focus T as well? Because, like, Zen Focus T could also help with just... Because we're not healing. Um, like, we're really not healing. See, yeah, Zen Focus T might might have helped. If we had Disarm, it might have helped too. You are getting CC'd a lot, but it, it actually sucks because it all comes down to not getting gripped. It sucks. Um, if you don't get gripped, they don't get pressure on you, and then your pally doesn't have to bop you or whatever. So, like, really good spear here for peels as well. Um, it's too bad we get grip back in from it, but yeah, we also have Aegis. So maybe use Aegis. We also have Fort Brew. Maybe instead of your rep pally bopping you, you could Aegis and Fortifying Brew and keep yourself alive. And that way your, your pally has bopped for himself. And I don't know if we had bubble or not. I feel like we might have probably still had bubble. But 
yeah your best bet again is to use your port mid grip so you don't get swapped to you don't they don't get pressure on you and then play very far away uh rop when they get close to you don't let them get anywhere near you and then if you're playing zen focus t i would use it uh usually versus this i would play zen focus t um peace weaver and cr uh chrysalis actually i don't they don't really have stuns you know they have one if it was a holy pally i'd play eminence but it's not so i would probably just play eminence just because they don't really have that many stuns i mean i don't think they're gonna go you i think they're probably gonna kill you red pally most of the time but yeah, these other three are not loading for me. Give me one sec. Let me see if they can load. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's just keeps trying to refresh or try. I don't know what's wrong with it. But for these three games, uh, I really didn't see anything bad. This first game, you guys were doing fine. And every game you played fine. Um, but just make sure, especially versus Priests. Okay, they're very prominent right now. They're very good. Just make sure you don't push in. Especially when the other team's using cooldowns. Usually for priests, I just in cap and then I'm out because I don't want to get anywhere close to get them, give them the free fear. Uh, this game, I mean, you know, just forgot to put port down. That's pretty much it. Would have saved you a lot. Great job surviving, though. Honestly, great job surviving. Great peels from your teammates. Like I couldn't ask for anything better. You guys, you guys did really good, really, really well for, for you know for what happened. And then this one, just a snowball effect of just how how hero cleave is because they have so many interrupts. Um, Try your best to port mid grip so that they don't, you know, do damage to you. And then you have to use cooldowns. Your teammates have to use cooldowns to help you. Um, if that can't happen, which you can't get it every time, use your, when you get sounds, use your fort brew. And then you also have your Aegis that you could use. Stuff like that is really good. You can also roll, leg sweep, get away. Uh, anything to create distance while you're silenced. That way you can kind of top yourself off after the silence is over. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. I can't get these last three games. I wish I could. I will check again sometime later in the week and see and maybe i'll do like a part two but yeah that's pretty much it. hopefully this is helpful for you or anyone it's not that long a video so i apologize usually i can go for like hours with these videos so yeah if you have any questions please let me know hopefully this is helpful for anyone who might be struggling and that's it for me hope everyone has some fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later